my class this is the practical number 4 part 2 uh, which is working in users group and permission in first part we can see uh, how we will create the group set that password for a username and how to add the that user to another group okay so in this video we can see how we will give the file permissions and what is file permissions so first of all all files and directory have the permission which is separated by the users group and others and uh, how we will see that permissions for that you need to type ls hyphen l it will list the details of that file and directories so there are three types of permission read write execute and the other one is no permission means if you see the hyphen over there that means uh, you don't have permission in that section okay let's go to our machine okay right now uh, i am in root user who am i okay i am in root user and uh, print written directory means i am in the root section or root directory let's clear the screen type ls so right now we can see there are uh, amp first html and uh, many things over here so let's type ls hyphen l means uh, listing in details so right now when we type this you can see over here read write and something uh, written over here so this is your permission of that file and how you will uh, define it is a file or uh, it is a directory right now you can see here it is hyphen means uh, there are no permission over here or there are uh, nothing in this character or this section so when you find this the, uh, there is no character over here it means it is a file and when it is a directory you can see uh, d are denoted over here okay so uh, mail is a directory and the amp is a file so there are paper which users group and the last one is other let's come to our machine you can see here read write and dash means the user have read and write permission the other one is group permission and group have the read and the other one is have the read permission only for imp file okay so how we will change the permission by the command command name as the ch mode so let's uh, change this amp permissions to read write execute read write and read write means we have to give the permission for the user read write execute group read write and this group read write so for that you need to type ch mode means change mode and uh, this is the syntax of that uh, command uh, permission and the file name so we are giving the ch mode and how we will set that permission okay so there are two ways to change the permission first one is absolute mode and second one is symbolic mode we are going for the absolute mode so right now you can see the numeric number over here and that permissions okay uh, now we need to give the read write execute permission for that you need to type 7 <coughs> okay so 7 means read write and execute so type space 7 now here we want read and write permission so where we can find this here means 6 and other one is also 6 6 okay and that file name press enter next type ls hyphen l now you can see the permission over here read write execute read write and read write okay uh, you can understand this uh, this is the user this one is the for a group and this one is for others and the permission set by this numbers first one is going for the user second one is the others uh, sorry second one is the group and third one is for the others uh, now we can change the file permissions now we have to change the directory permission let's see it's uh, working or not for that what is the command for that okay ch mode and uh, same permission we are giving for the mail directory okay. you can see here directory and the mail file same permission 766 mint means this is only read write execute for the users now we are giving, giving permission for the uh, group uh, and that other user also uh, what is the name mail okay press enter type ls hyphen l so right now you can see the same permission applied to this directory so this is how you can change your file permission let's clear the screen 
hello the panel okay so this is how you can change the file permission or the directory permission on your linux administrator system okay thank you